So, first example. Say we use a laser used in eye surgery to fuse detached retinas produces radiation with a frequency of 4.69 times 10 to the 14th seconds minus to the negative first power, 1 over seconds, which is the units for frequency. Now we know one equation that helps us understand frequency and wavelength. And it has to do with the speed of light. We have C equals the wavelength times the frequency. So we know that the lambda is equal to wavelength. We know, and this is in usually in nanometers, which is the same thing as meter times 10 to the negative ninth. Now V is frequency. Frequency is usually in one over seconds or seconds to the negative one. Now, in this case, we are given, you're always going to be given one of them. Which one are we given here? We're given frequency, right? So what we can do is we know that C, everything in the universe propagates at C, which is equal to 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Knowing that, we can always solve for either the lambda or the frequency. We do it like this. 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second is equal to lambda times 4.69 times 10 to the 14th, 1 over seconds. Now, to the 14th, that's what we're given here, yes. Let me make that as clear as possible. Now, we're given 1 over seconds because it's seconds to the negative 1. And seconds to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over seconds. So, let's divide both sides by 4.69 times 10 to the 14th. 1 over seconds. Now, I, when I do math like this, I always like to separate it as much as possible. So what we know is that lambda, the wavelength, is going to equal to 3.0 times 10 to the 8th times meters per second. And I'm going to put 4.69 here. I'm going to put 10 to the 14th here. And I'm going to put 1 over seconds here. Does everyone see how I did that? So 3.0 divided by 4.69 gives me 0. 0.63965885, okay? Times 10 to the 8th over 10 to the 14th is the same thing as 10 to the 8 minus 14, which is going to equal 10 to the negative 6, right? So times 10 to the negative 6th times meters per second divided by 1 over seconds. So meters per seconds divided by 1 over seconds, which is equal to meters per second times second over 1. So seconds cross out, and I, eat, I get meters. You see this? Do you see how I did that math there? It's a little math trick. Oh, what I have here is I have 0 0.639658885 times 10 to the negative 6th meters. Now I need to put this into proper scientific notation which means I'm going to move it one more over here and change that to 7. So this is going to equal 6.3965885 times 10 to the negative 7th meters, which if I look at my sig figs in the original equation, I see that I have exactly three units for sig figs, three significant figures. So I'm going to turn this down to 6. 396 and round that up to 6.40 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. Now, if I want to put this in nanometers so I have a better understanding, I can say 6.40 times 10 to the negative seventh meters times 10 to the negative ninth nanometers in one meter. 
So there are 10 to the 9th nanometers in one meter, which means we have 6.40 times 10 to the negative 7 plus 9 nanometers, which is going to equal 6.40 times 10 to the 2nd nanometers, which equals 640 nanometers. Now, we didn't have to put it into nanometers, but I just think it's a great way to do it.